Right, okay, welcome back, part three, part three, right. Now the shit gets serious, right. So, now what I failed to explain in the last video, before we whizzed up the flour, is in part one, we all put the ingredients in the flour, but what I added in part two, and I forgot to mention, right, was I added about half a teaspoon of oregano and some thyme I have lying around, just some old dry thyme. You know, went through the stem, whacked it in there, and the oregano, blitzed it up again, so that's what we've got. So that basically that flour mixture is basically tarragon, oregano, garlic powder, crushed chilli, fennel, seeds, salt, pepper, that's on that chicken. And that's it really. So, right, let's whack the flour to one side. That's the end of that. I wanted to get that straight, right? Because I failed to mention it and I was not happy about it. So, yeah, because I don't like to, um, you know, if I fuck up, I fuck up and I will say, so don't start. So anyway, welcome back. Um, yeah, I mean, I like the lights off situation. Um, so what I'm going to try and do, I will do, I will sort of can the out a little bit more tomorrow. Um, so even though we're going to do like a Sunday sort of chicken fire roast dinner, we'll do it at night. So, and it's going to be really candly. So, be nice and spicy. So, um, yeah, so there we go. So, what's going on? Right. Right, let's start to concentrate now. So, because we've got some serious shit. I've already chopped up that onion, all right? So, I'm just going to go in for it again. Like I said, I know a lot of people know um, what they're doing and they're not stupid, they're in there like that. But, this part, these parts of the video, to be honest with you, aren't really for you. Therefore, literally the toast watch part of the game, which we have to welcome in, right? Because we want to transform, transform, right? The toast watchers into something like, that they can cook like something groovy like cheese and tomato and cheese on and with onion on toast with maybe a splash of Worcestershire sauce and some chorizo beans. Ooh, who'd have thought it? So that's what we're doing. So I'm just cutting up the onion now. I know I'm talking absolute wank, right? And I know, I know people go, why are you talking? Right, we, we are talking information. Right, it's not a case of like, why are you talking? Like, it's a case of like sometimes, why are you talking to the Toast Watchers? Well, because I have to talk to everybody, right? I have to talk to everyone. I have to talk to the subscribers on here that have a, no subscribers or don't have a channel or people who just come in. Or I have to talk to people who know a lot, probably more than what I do. I mean, look, I don't know anything, you know, I'm just, I'm just having a go. Even though I'm reaching, like, Michelin star this update on that, by the way, is uh, incoming, don't worry about that. Um, we have to, we're not catering for everyone, but it's a case of, like, the train's leaving, all right, we're leaving the station, we've got the 105 subscribers on the gang, including the Toast Watchers, it's just the Toast Watchers have got to the platform and the trains, you know, it's going, but it's, it's jogging speed. And if you want to run and carry your luggage and grab it onto that last carriage before the train sets off into utter stardom, basically, um, then you're welcome. And that's fine. So there we go. So no nonsense. Right, okay, now I've got the pan on and I'm going to whack it up to about eight. I am going to put the booster on 
um, because we now do have to start doing some actual action, right? I know there's been a lot of build up, right? I know there's been a lot of build up and there are. I like things to be set out in specific ways. I know a lot of people disagree, but I don't. Why? I don't need to say why, do I? You know, I don't need to say why. Right? Right, okay, so, right, what I'm going to do. Right, I've got some Odessa Greek olive oil. We're going to whack in the pan. Alright. Okay, here we go. Right, I've actually got some butter. This is actual butter. No, it is actually butter that is actual butter. Not the uh, not the other kind. We have got some of that. It's fine. I mean, I have got I have not got a problem with butter that isn't butter. But yeah, you, there is you know it's the outcomes of the actual final the final cook. All right. And I know that, and you know that. So here we go. So we're doing a nice, well, we're doing a nice bit of mixy now, okay. So we're now getting into the mixy cook off now. I want to get that butter nice and fragile, all right. Do you want fragile, fragile is, hang on a second. No, I'm no hanging on a second. I'm getting paranoid. Right, so, I'm just looking. I'm gonna turn that right off now. I'm gonna turn that right down. I'm going to turn that right down and I'm going to put it over on it there because I want that to just relax. Alright, I just want that to relax for a minute. Alright. Back up to a seven. So I took that off the heat now because I needed a little bit of time to make that butter and oil relax into each other. Alright. So we've got a nice bit of olive oil now. Right, now I'm going to add a nice little bit of my garlic and thyme oil. As well. Okay. Right, so we're gonna let that just give, get a nice... Right, that butter is now starting to golden a little bit too much. So, now in goes the onions. Turn that down a bit, back to about five. With the booster off, we're going to let them onion just absorb and soak all them flavours up now. So don't remember, them onions have gone in raw, obviously, because they've only just been cut up yet. So we need to let them relax into the flavours, and that's why I've lowered that heat right down. Okay, it's so now. It's now on like a, a comfortable marker, yeah? It's like a, a an afternoon chat with your granny. It's just helping your neighbour out in the neighbourhood. Right? Being a good citizen. Doing what you need to do in life. It's relaxing, yeah? It's marinating with the flavours of what's already in there. But there's more flavours to come, obviously, because that's why we are giving some extra love to the garlic, right? Now, these sorts of things you can't take any rushage in, right? We're talking time taken, yeah, we're talking attention to detail. Them onions are going to be too mental. Now, what I'm going to do here, if we just smash up some garlic, and yeah, I know, Peloski, you're going to be going, oh, I told you so, I oh, know, I know. I know, I know. I just, sometimes I just get, I got into a habit of picking out the, gar the garlic peel from the, um, yeah, I know. 
Yeah, so, you know, what can you say? But I used to do this ages ago, you know, it's all right. I mean, I've, look, don't forget, right, like I've been single for like 18 years. So I've lived on my own for like 18 years. So I do know how to cook. It's just the case of, um, you know, uh, something happened in about 2013 and I uh, suddenly really needed to learn how to cook. So, um, and don't forget, um, you know, cooking is cheaper, um, but not with these sorts of things. Like, you know, I'm doing a video production, yeah? I'm doing a video production on my channel, so it's not like I'm cooking at home. So even though I'm off camera, the water's always boiling. The oven's on, it's getting warmed up. You know, the chicken stock that I've added a bit more chicken stock to, right? That's on that's on at least a two. So what we've got wing ring got one, two, three rings on that have been on for the last three three, four hours. The oven's on, right? Right, the oven's on about one one sixty. So that's nice and warm. And that's in preparedness for the chicken breasts. So you know, there we go. It just costs a dollar. To do these videos costs a lot of money, right? Unless you're doing, unless I'm doing something really quick, like, I don't know, like a poverty special, or even like a budget, like special. I haven't actually got a category for budget specials. I will have to do that. Um, but it means I have to go all the way through my videos and see what the shit I've done. Same as Indian makeways, like, I need to retitle a lot of the Indian makeaways, especially like the early ones, because people just can't work it out. And I don't really blame them, because I've gone through them, and I've gone, well, like, well, you need to, like, yeah. It was the early days, and, you know, excuses are allowed, to be honest with you. And even though, even though you're watching this video now, even these videos are still the early days, because I'm going to transform my channel into something like, just more cosy. That's all. That's, that's the goal. We want cosy, cosy. The food is going to be cosy. The environment's going to be cosy. And it's just going to be cosy. And that's all we want. And that's it. So that's why I've tested it out today with, with, the, with the candles. So I've got like a semi idea of what I'm doing. So. Right, so we're so a dim onions down. I can see they're looking slightly glistening. -y. Right, I'm gonna whack the garlic in. Right. I'm gonna turn this up to about a seven. So it was on, on a, and it is that it's, like I said, it's an electric stove, obviously. So I need to get the spaghetti. I'm having a moment, so we don't need. I don't need the flat anymore, I don't think. I'll keep the flat, no, I don't need the flour out because I've got the flour mixed up. So I'm just having a moment, so I'm just putting stuff back into the gaff. Right, so let's turn that right up. Let's whack it on a booster for a minute. So, I just wanna... So, their onions have softened down. So, say their onions have softened down to about 88%. We need to get the um, garlic now onto a similar path, right? Yeah, so like I said, um, so that flour mixture I've done for the chicken, uh, we'll go for it again. Like we put in the tarragon, we put in the gar garlic powder, the crushed chilli, the fennel seeds and the chicken powder. Um, but afterwards, like I said off camera, I put in some oregano and some dried thyme, okay? So that's what we, we extra whiz that in there, all right? Just to let everyone know, so I don't, I don't want to like lead anyone off the beaten path or anything like that. No, I, I try, but dude, like I really do try on my channel to be honest as possible. Um, um, you know, I mean, there's been a few occasions in the early days where I did really massively fuck up. Uh, mainly the the Italian uh, video 
um, or the, the Italian playlist on the focaccia, I massively fucked that up. Um, I don't know if anyone's re-watched it or anything like that. I'm going to turn this down now. Turn the booster off and I'll turn it down to about five. Just to let this really nicely cook out. Yeah, and basically what it was, is I made a focaccia. I made a, a oh, I forgot those, an olive and garlic and sun-dried tomato focaccia. Um, and I actually finished the whole thing about four in the afternoon. Um, and basically I was really pissed and I just decided to put some grated cheese on the top of it and put it under the grill and whilst under the grill 30 minutes later yeah it was fucked it was I burnt it to shit so I had to redo the whole thing again that night and I think I was finished about, like, I, I was so pissed off, I stormed off to bed. Uh, that's how annoying it was. Um, and I think that night I completely remade the whole focaccia again. And it, I finished at about 3.30 in the morning or something, she's like that. So, you know, it's a case of like, yeah, you know, people see what you're doing. Because obviously, so you can't, you can't take the piss for people. Do you know what I mean? You've got to be quite... Like honest and true. So there we go. So right, so I've just cooked them onions out. Now I've done it slightly first because I wanted to soften the onions and the garlic out together. saying hang on a minute why are you doing it that way round right should you not have done the actual chicken thigh first um yeah but I've done I wanted to get the onions and that sauteed first with the in the garlic juices with the butter and olive oil and then we're gonna sort out the other stuff right so I'm gonna whack it back up to about six right. and while we're doing that Concentrate on the bacon. So I just want to get this bacon cut up, and we're just going to do it in fairly biggish chunks. I don't want the bacon. I want the bacon to stand out a little bit. All right. So it's going to be part of the sauce, same as the tomatoes and all that stuff. So I just had to get the heat up a bit there, and we just whack some more butter in with it. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to put in a little bit of, bit of olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. Okay, need a little drivel. Nothing too mental. Don't forget, extra virgin olive oil is not really. Right, okay, so that is now starting to darken a bit. I'm going to put in the I'm going to put in the chicken breast skin side down first. Now we're going to whack it back up to about an eight. The booster is off. All right. That's in full right now. Let's get them stirred in now. Right, let's give our hands a wash. So because that that chicken feels quite tacky, okay. Now that's because of the light coating of um, flour that we put on there. Alright. So we're going to let that. That's just going to do this thing now. Spitting nicely. I just uh, caught one in the eye there. Not saying nothing. It's, uh, 
that's your dirty minds, alright, I'm not saying nothing, there's no one in the eye that goes on around here, not that I can even do a one in the eye, one in the eye would be brilliant wouldn't it, how amazing would that be, oh, well, right. well I need to get you, right, let's think about something else, right, now, right, okay, now, let's do it, so we're flying off the chicken, I want to keep that on. Right. Now this chicken will be going into the oven to finish off. Right. I just want to get that. Keep an eye on it. I can't have the temperature up too high. Otherwise it will be too fucked up. So. I'm just trying to gauge the temperature of this video. So yeah. I need a lot of the juice that's gonna come from this chicken. Alright, so we're going into the cream. Now I'm not talking about the residual fat, we'll all have to pour that off. But I'm talking about the little crusty bits that will catch on to the end. Um And that's one basically looking for. So, like we said when we in the um, some some fried chicken video, we put it in the, we deep fried it, and we're looking at the different size of the bubbles. Yeah, so you can see that coming out the edge of this chicken thigh here, we've got the bigger and smaller bubbles, and then around the outside, it's got all these big bubbles. That's where you're getting a lot of the water vapour evaporating off, right? So we've got a lot of temperature control and a lot of temperature changes going on inside this pan. And that's what's interesting. So, right, I'm going to put the onion and garlic, that's the onion, that's the fried off onion and garlic mixture. I did this for long enough to wipe, so you can see, there we go. There's a lot of oil and fat in there already. Right, now you can hear that noise. Now it's starting to get a little bit too serious in my liking. I want to change that now, there we go. And there we go. So you just start to hear that change, that change in notes in the actual Like that change in note in the actual chicken itself. Hang on a second. And there we go. So we're just getting that. That's like keeping that. But we are using, there's a lot of butter in this, right? We're refining it in a pan. Right? So we've got to be very careful what we're doing. Alright? Butter's got a very lowish melting point, uh, burning point, so we've got to be careful, That's just, this is why this sort of situation has to be done, this is why I've taken it up into a high temperature, a low temperature, a higher temperature, a lower temperature, and now I've just, now I've just like moving it out to a, like a level now, it's on about seven, and it's, and that will cook nicely, and that will cook nicely. So, what we're going to do is I personally do not think, because these are chicken thighs bone-in, alright, they're bone-in, okay, so I don't want to um, take any risks, okay, so we're going to lightly fry them, we've coloured them nicely, we'll give you a little zoom up on that, alright, so we colour them nicely, it'd be nice if I had a bit of a spoon to, um,
So we color them last, right? Say that. Alright, I'm just gonna fax the butter and olive oil going on now. Oh, okay. It's probably a bit too much detail, but it doesn't matter, it's fine. No, it's all good in the game, you know, we're all doing it. So, like I said, tomorrow is going to be a bit of a big update on the actual uh, look of the channel. Um, we are going to slightly update it. I'm quite pleased with the candles. We are going to be probably going to go night time only now. Apart from the Indian Makeway that we'll be doing in about end of March. Um, and that will only be in like part one and two during the morning and the day. Uh, because it's just so mega. It's the biggest thing I do. Um... Uh, I think the only thing that's topped it, or has come close to it, has probably been, um, oh god, uh, the American breakfast. That was, like, eye-watering. Eye-watering. Right, okay, let's do it. Right, let's do it. I need the actual, I might actually need this, so I don't know why I'm doing uh, this. So, here we go. Right, so we're going to take the chicken out, we're going to turn it over, put it in that last bit, and now we're going to turn it over, one in now, one in now, one in now, okay, right. Now, the rest of that, I know everyone's going to be going, no, don't do it. I've got to pour some of the fat away. Alright, just the residual bit of it. Alright. And then we've got the rest of it left. So, because otherwise it'd be too fatty. Alright, so these are the fried the chicken fries. The fries, fries. Fried. Right, so I'm going to stick them, the rest of them in the oven. That needs to go way down to go off at the moment. Right, and the rest of them. So we're going to seal the foil then. So um, the oven's already on. And then I can get concentrated. Now I know a lot of people are going to be saying, oh, why don't you do it? cook the whole dish off in one um, because I want the sauce to be kept slightly separate from this chicken all right and it's it's all depending on how I want to serve it as well okay so I'm going to whack them in the oven all right and that's on about 160 and I'm going to do that for hang on a second Right, so it's about half past seven now at night. So I'm going to do that for about, I don't know, half hour and then we'll turn it off. And there will probably be about four. Right, okay, so now we need to get things back on the on the groove, all right? So I'm whacking this back up to about an eight now. So, so I need to get this frying off. I need to get it cooking. Right, we're going to do a little bit of magic handage. Whee. Right, okay, I reckon that oil's up to half decent temperatures now. So let's do it. Right, so we're nice. So you can see there's a lot of oil in that garlic and onion already. And that's just gonna Right, and that's just gonna, that's just gonna mix in with that now. So, now I don't want the bacon to be too, I want the big, I want the bacon to be just mildly cooked. I'm not looking, I want, on this dish, I want softness of the bacon, right? 
I don't want it to be too completely crispy. All right, that's why I put it in at the same time. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be going, oh, why does it make a lot of sense? Well, at the end of the day, the bacon's going to be getting cooked for a lowest temperature up to a highest temperature, right? So it will release a lot of its flavours a lot quicker than when you just whack it in fucking baking, burning hot, right? And also, it's a cream dish, right? So, I want it soft. It's going to be like the mushrooms, yeah? I want all the mushrooms. This is now the start of the sauce, right? So, this is what I mean. You've got to be thinking about what sort of level of cookage you're going to be looking at, right? So, I'm chopping the, the mushrooms up. I don't want to do them too fine because I want, because this is sauce, this beginning of this sauce is going to be cooking off for quite a long time, right? Um, like I said, I think this probably will be a part four, to be honest with you. Maybe a part five. It shouldn't be a part five. It shouldn't be. But it might be. And if it is, I really do apologise. Um, but, yeah. Um, for the longer time, um, you need to cook something off for the vegetables that you're putting in the slightly bigger they need to be that's what I'm trying to get at right so if we was going to do like a stir fry with this yeah I'd probably cut the mushrooms up a little bit smaller or not as chunky and that's why I've done them in a sort of more like, like, like sort of more chunky sort of aspect right because they're going to have more time to soak down and that's the reason why I done the bacon and or done the onion and the garlic first, not fried them, sauteed them. It's the difference, okay? Uh, and then the bacon, and then the bacon will naturally infuse all the sweetness and juices coming out of that garlic that's already been sauteed and buttery cooked, right? So do you know what I mean? So do you know why, you can see why I, I em when I've done that chicken and I finished it off, I emptied out all the stuff that was in there. Well, I know it's flavour, I know that, but it wasn't the the, the, the good bits, right? The good bits are still in there. It was just the excess butter. And the reason why is it just would have been too, too fatty because there's a lot of goodness in this chicken stock. Don't forget we've got chicken stock here. Right, so the chicken stock, okay, was made a few months ago in the freezer. Now that would have been literally all the chicken car, everything, hang on a Right, the backbone, the neck, the bum cheeks, arse bits, the fucking, everything in the chicken. And that took about three, four days to do. And it goes through almost like a gelatin, all right? And that's that. So it's good shit. Right, it's good shit. Right, so talking about good shit, well now I've got this cooking up to a nice little, little temperature going on here. Well that's about a nine, let's whack it down to about an eight. And I think first we'll leave the mushrooms there. And we're gonna do well, I think what we're doing, so uh like an eye let's do it. Let's do them like this. Alright, let's do them like that. So we've got fairly biggest chunks of tomatoes going in. Alright, it is gonna that's gonna cool the pan while we turn that. I'm gonna turn the pan down anyway because it's getting too hot for my liking now. Thanks, decided to leave the pan. Something decided to eject it from itself from the pan of joy. The pan of utter stardom. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back up again. Back to a nine. I need some more sizzle going on there. Yeah, so initially, like, like I said, the reason why sometimes I turn the pan up and down, like we go, like we'll back something in, it's been hot, we whack it in, we turn that temperature down because we want that temperature to capture the uh, 
new the next new ingredient if it's fresh and cooler than the pan itself okay so we don't want it to give it too much of a shock um, and that way you just you we're all about slowly releasing them flavors right we're all about slowly getting them textures in right and that's why we've put the tomatoes in before we've done anything with the mushroom right mushrooms are basically lastminute.com right so that's the reason why we do that because I want the tomatoes to have a nice integrate integrational feeling and fragrance into the rest of the dish right and it's going to be a lovely dish that's why we've got that temperature up to a nice a nice heavy heat. Alright. Okay, so right, next what we're gonna put start to be thinking about doing into the dish, right? Is we're gonna be start talking about the Dijon mustard. It's gonna be the mushrooms going in, the Dijon mustard, the basil, the cream, obviously, because that's gonna be making up the dish. We've got the chicken stock. Obviously, we'll put the chicken stock in first once we've finished off all this. Yeah. And then it'll be the beginnings of part four. Okay, so that's what we're doing in part four. I'm going to call that a part three. My name's Sergeant Furitos. I'm glad everyone's in the game. I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you with lovely people in the next one. Very good. I'll see you later. I'll leave you with you.